Today on the channel from the Batman New Adventures line, we got Batgirl and we got Batman. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another new adventures of batman unboxing and review and today on the channel we got batgirl we got batman we got a lot of fun there you go but for all your batman needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up entertainment earth use discount code kyle save yourself 10 percent all in stock items anything over 79 dollars does ship free got to get a deal out there and of course we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there and as usual on the channel, ladies first, Batgirl up first right here, a very small figure. And it's one of those things where I think they justify the whole wave. This one's a little bit cheaper, put a little extra money into the Killer Crocs, things like that. And I think that's how they justify it because this is a very small figure. This is also a chase edition of this one, all in uh, purple instead of black. So if you're on the lookout for that, uh, you might be looking for the purple, you might be looking for the black, maybe you need both, who knows. But there it is, old Batgirl looking only like a Batgirl could look if she was in the new adventures. You got Batman, Robin, Batgirl down here, of course. Batgirl at the top, what is this? 12 and up, 11 year olds, you know the drill by now, get the heck out of here. McFarlane Toys, of course, DC Direct as well. A little share action, Batgirl on the side there. Then on the back, just a nice little uh, prom picture there. I think she went to prom by herself. Nobody went with her. And she just got a picture taken by herself. So truly a hero. Truly a hero in many ways. In many ways. So they're going to pull her out. Uh-oh. We got all that stuff in the back here. Always tough to get out of as well. Come on. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. And we get this little art cell. This is very interesting. Very interesting here. Pop that out. Bam. Holy cow. Like a Frisbee is what that one was little tape on here of course we do get these interesting stands uh with these figures here we've been seeing this with the batman new adventure line you got to put them in the right way well you got to figure it out you gotta be smarter than the so there we go pop it right in there and you pop this bad boy right at the top and there it is you got a little stand here new adventures eh, it is what it is it is what it is and then we got a little see you later and then we got this animation cell and you got killer croc batman fighting in the background and batgirl not paying any attention and apparently looking at a video game or something. Uh, it says, episode Love is a Croc, season one, episode 13. Believing Killer Croc is a kindred spirit after she sees him on TV sentenced for a crime. Baby doll sets him free, goes on a crime stream with him before she starts, to she starts to question his trustworthiness and her own judgment. Oh, what a story arc. July 11th, 1998. Directed by Butch Lukic. Story by Steve Gerber. Oh, one of the great Gerbers. And of course, animation services. Coco Enterprises. Shout out to Coco Beware. Henry Cohen for the music is what it is right there. A little plastic prison and some of the smallest plastic prison here. Big plastic, uh, but small, small figure. And then they got her locked in with 10 million twist ties. Yes, you heard it here first. 10 million twist ties. Todd and the gang said, man, keep her on lockdown. That Batgirl, she's dangerous. We can't afford her to get away. Make sure you got her locked in. We got just crazy amount of twist ties for such a little figure here. But uh, that's the McFarlane way. That's what we call it there. Uh, the McFarlane way, but there it is. I think I got it all. I think I got it. There it is. Oh no, now we got to fight. Now we got to do another fight here with all the Cambodian cannibal tape, and I am not going to do that right now. Man, they got these little hands taped down big time, every single one, but you got all the extra hands going on here. You got the gripping hands, you got the fisted hands, you got the open hands, you got the gripping hands to hold the batarang, and of course, all that kind of stuff. You also got a batarang hand here, and then you got some accessories there with the different batarangs as well. So choose your own adventure. I'm going to take this offline. I'm going to get all this tape off there. It's just absolutely unbelievable the amount of clip ties and tape with Todd McFarlane. Todd's a crazy man, crazy man. But now we get Batgirl out of the package. Very small figure. I mean, 
This almost feels like, uh, it's a little bit better, obviously, but almost feels like something you would have got out of a Happy Meal toys back in the 90s. I mean, it almost feels like a Happy Meal figure. So, so small. The only thing that keeps it from that is the more articulation. You get maybe three points of articulation back in the day in the Happy Meal. But man, this is very, very small. A little hard to justify at a $25 price point for this little figure. But like I said, you get Baby Doll, you get Killer Croc. If you're buying the whole wave, I guess it nets out. The end of the day though it doesn't feel like 25 dollars to me she just got her black outfit on of course and then you got the yellow in the gloves and the forearm guards the boots you got the yellow batgirl insignia there black and yellow batman belt batgirl belt there blue cape on the back yellow on the inside and then you get the head sculpt here big smile on her she's very very happy you got the cowl like a batman would have of course blue eyes going on a little bit of lipstick in there uh, but a big, big uh, smile going there. And then a red hair on the back looking very good. And, of course, no holes in the feet here. That's why we get these kind of crazy little peg stands instead. Uh, it is what it is. I'd prefer peg stands instead of uh, the little stand there. But it is what it is. No uh, fight in City Hall on that one. Of course, arms go all the way around for us. Single jointed back and forth on the elbows. Hands back and forth. Head back and forth. Really not a whole lot. Up and down non-existent with that hair so not a ton of mobility there you do get those t-bar articulation out of the legs so almost like a mattel build a figure so you can do the splits there leg does go up single jointed knee you do get side to side ankle and then or i should say boot cut and ankle articulation as well and that's pretty much all to write home about here with old batgirl not sure if she could stand on her own we're gonna see real quick not really gonna be a very difficult one here i guess that's why we got these little stands these little stands to help us get through, to get through the day here. Her problem is then her cape gets in the way. I guess you got to put it around the cape and we'll just stick her here. I'll have to figure that out, but it's one of those things too where she's so short, she's not even going to have her feet on the stand. So I don't know. I don't know about this line sometimes. I didn't collect the original line. These are somewhat re-releases uh, between this one, the regular animated series lines. Not going to be for everybody and barely for me. I talk about it all the time. We all have our fandoms where this is our number one collector's items that we like to collect on a regular basis. And then there's always going to be something at the bottom. For me, this is kind of at the bottom tier is whatever it is for me. And that's where it is right now at least. Things can always change, but it's always dangerously on the cusp of a, that's so hard to say goodbye. You never know what might end up happening there. But there's old Batgirl. But now we turn it over to the main event, I guess. It is Batman. And this looks actually pretty good in the package here. I like the looks of this one. Batman, 12 and up. Once again, 11-year-olds watching you. Batman Animated Series, New Adventures, Big Bubble Window, DC Direct, McFarlane, Batman, Batman. And then on the back, Glamour Shot once again. He also went to prom by himself. Hard time for old Bruce Wayne. Come on, Bruce. But can I get it out? Oh, my gosh. Always tough to get these out. There we go. Just got to catch it just right. See you later. Goodbye. Got more animation cell. Oh, my gosh. I'm an animation collector at this point here. I'm collecting all these animation cells. Just a uh, renaissance man, I guess, at the end of the day. Got a little tape on that stick. Pull that off. Bam! See you later at the screen. Get this stick here once again. You got to make sure you get the right side. Put that in there. Pop that bad boy in there maybe maybe there we go there we go all right we got the stand we've seen it before we'll see it again we know how that goes as well see you later goodbye animation cell what do we got going on here sins of the father season one episode two batman and robin encounter each other for the first time when a street kid named tim drake finds himself hunted by the villain two-face tim who is so soon to become batman's partner robin is eager to impress his hero and bring down two-face from september 20 1997 Directed by Kirk Gaeta and story by Rich Fogel. Don't get me started with the Fogel family. We heard all about that before. And then, of course, Coco Beware Enterprises laying it all down as they usually do. But there it is, old Batman looking good, looking interesting in the package here. And he's locked down. Of course he is. One ankle locked down. Two ankles locked down. Hand locked down. Hand locked down. We're getting all those twist ties out of here. Just making a huge mess as usual. And then, of course, got to get that waist. Got that waist locked down as well. That should do it, though, I think. There it is. And once again, we get all the accessories here. We get the uh, gripping hands, the battering hands. I got a battering. We get all the usual suspects in the hand department. I'll pull that out from the old Cambodian cape later uh, instead of sitting here for 20 minutes uh, trying to get those out. But we do got Batman out of the package. First thing I noticed with the feel of this one, I like the plastic cape. I usually like a cloth cape, but it's almost like paper, construction paper they use on these, and they're terrible. So I do prefer this kind of 
cape. Looks very, very good. A very stunning Batman. Obviously very animated series looking, as it should be. It's from the set right here. I love the big jawline there and a nice tan. Oh, he's got that nice hot dog can going on. Looking good there. You got the whites of the eyes. You got the big old Batman ears there and then the cape right over the top. Now, this cape, unfortunately, limits this basically worthless in the articulation department. Uh, absolutely unbelievable. A cape not removable, of course, uh, but you can't really do anything because it's so down low there. So... This is almost a statue in a lot of ways. So the arm doesn't even go up for it. You get the side to side, single jointed elbows, hands removable side to side, head, you get back and forth, no real up and down to really write home about. You do get waist articulation. You got the T bar splits once again, we know about that. Leg goes up a little bit, bend at the knees, single jointed, side to side, boot cut, ankles back and forth. And he does have peg holes in this one here, so he might fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Let's see. Let's see. Will he fit? Is he going to fit? Oh, he fits. Oh my gosh, what a time to be alive right there. He does fit on the stand if that is your thing. I prefer a stand like this to this one, that is for sure. But boy, oh boy, this is a cool looking figure. I like this figure a lot, but man, it's rough. You give this to a kid, it's rough on playability when you cannot even move the shoulders. Uh, you can't move the arms all the way around. That's a rough day for old Batman, if you ask me. So that's a, a little interesting here. I don't know what to think about this line. I don't know what to think about this Batgirl. Just a mystery here is what this is. It's just, I don't know, not going to be for everybody. I almost feel like it's barely for me at this point right here. But it is what it is. Hidden Target stores right now is where you can find them. You can also find them. Or no, I guess Entertainment Earth is what I said here. Target, I don't know if these have hit Target yet. You guys tell me it's the other series that have been hitting Target. So if you're on the lookout for either or, Entertainment Earth, Target, should have you covered at the end of the day but Batgirl Batman yeah that's where I feel that's my final verdict that's my final verdict what about your final verdict you picking these two up pass it long game no game let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and of course you made it this far don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bells we got videos every single day and then some we got even more content for you of course over on patreon patreon the best way to support this youtube channel and all the content it does bring check it out over there and of course you can support the channel at prosentees.com pick up a t-shirt search kyle peterson don't forget my book the complete guide to the jacks class superstar series on barnes and noble and on amazon it is up over there appreciate the support and of course social media sir paul 64 on the x is where you can find me the underscore kyle underscore peterson on threads and Instagram is where you can find me as well. So for Batman and Batgirl, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.